Welcome back everyone. I just wanted to show you a couple of things today. So I'm sitting in my goblet of Y holes, which has a chair, and I wanted to show you my new ballistics gel, but I'm not going to be firing at it with the Enterprise. No. Instead, I'm going to be firing at it with something else. Let's see, we'll go with the uh, engine first. You've already seen this before, but it's got a brand new twist. Get this into a nice position. Strip this one down. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. What we have here is uh, torpedoes. What I'm going to need is some explosive blocks, so if I just sell these purple wedges... Give myself some explosives... There we go, right. So, what we've got here is... It's quite compact. The green blocks here are unnecessary. I just put them on because this back end spins. That's what gives it the clock, which fires the push computer. If I just tear this one apart... Taking off the power and the thrusters on this side so you can see what's really going on. I'm going to take. Oh. Now you can see what it is. Right. Right, so then, from here, um, we have the ship core, we have a rail rotator, we have a button, an AND gate, an activation block, and a push computer. If I push the button there, well, yeah, here. What you have to do is hit V on the rail rotator and every time it rotates it'll send a trigger into the AND. Dock something to it. It doesn't need all this green stuff. And then the AND isn't going to go off unless you activate this activation block. The AND gate is hooked up to the push. You can also use it to fire missiles that fire sideways out of the ship. So you can make flying, you know, flying missile pods. But anyway, we're just going to put one warhead on the front of this. And then we're going to fire. Boom. Okay, the explosion killed me. Ha <laughs> Where did I die? Wabble, wobble. So here we are, guys. We found the... Oh my god! 
We found it, and it definitely exploded. So I'm just going to work. Oh my god, my ship's still loading up. Look. So as you can see, it's done a pretty nice hole in this, just with one, you know, just with one explosive block. It's done like a ton of damage. I think it's about 10 radius, something like that, maybe 8, 8 to 10 radius, which is not bad. Um, but anyway, that was that one. And, and it, <laughs> you end up with the timer. And that doesn't get killed for some reason. I don't know why that is, but they always seem to survive. Right. So for this one, what we're going to do is I've showed you how it works. So I haven't tested this yet. So I'm just going to set axis up, and I'm going to load this one with a. Oh um, yeah, it is a bit too long. We'll go with twenty. We'll go one, two, three. Oh. That'll do. Don't need to go overboard. Right then. Now this time we'll ride it. But we won't die when it hits. Oh yeah, I forgot to hook up the thing, didn't I? Derp dee derp. Derp dee derp. Gonna deactivate that. <coughs> Jump in it again. Arp. Button. There we go. Oh yeah, I've got to actually hit the button and turn the damn thing on. My bad. I was just think I wasn't thinking about it when I just I just buried it, you know. Get inside it in build mode and hit R, and off it goes. Right, let's give it a go. Surfing missiles, yeah, bang. Oh, and again. Oh, and it's, dis and it's destroyed. And it's lacking. <laughs> yeah. So that was the idea behind the first one, anyway. Okay, so, so far I've got my crazy thingy. Kind of burrowing through a block of armor. Wonder if it's possible to take those things out. Get out of the way, everything. Surrounded an armored hull now. Boosh! Oh my god, it's embedded in the target. Ah! Oh my god. Destroy the creations. Hmm. 
Missile, missile, nope. There we go. And he's dead. So, back to the goblet. Oh. 